guys, a bit squid here, and welcome to another Unity tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to be creating a split screen camera. So this is useful if you're making uh, a game which is going to be multiplayer and it's going to be like local or like couch co-op, and you want a split screen, or you're making a game where you're going to have an option to have a split screen in it. So as we can see here on my scene. I have two player holders. These are my players and idle, walk right, walk left. Um, they're my animations and it's controlled by the player holder. And all we really need to do is edit this camera. So at the moment, both my players are on zero in all aspects for the position on all axis. So on my main camera, all I need to do is change the width here you can see it just above me, uh, where it says viewpoint, and it's got X, Y, W, and H. The W, the width, we want to change to 0 0.5, and you can see it's already doing that. And now we want to copy that, Control and D, duplicate it, and we can add that to our player holder here. So then the camera will move with our player. Now, with the second main camera, we need to remove our audio listener because <clears throat> you can only have one audio listener in your scene. And what we need to change here is set the X value here to 0 0.5. And now you can see that there. And we can add that to our second character here. And we can now even separate them. So I'll pop him there. Pop him over there. And you see it's now different. Uh, uh, maybe a good idea to do would be to <clears throat> then do a canvas. And we're going to add a image. I almost call this uh, divider. I may have spelled that wrong. Oh well. <clears throat> Not quite sure. Okay, so what we're going to do is make it thinner. I want to get it on that line so it's in the middle. And then we're going to put that down there. And this one up to there. And there we go. If I hit play, now both characters here are going to move at the same time because they're not separately controlled. <clears throat> but you'll see now that the camera will follow our players. I'll see. My uh, little land area isn't exactly the best there. And so yeah, and there we have it. A really fast way of making a split screen camera for your game. So uh, yeah, that is it for this video. If you found this one helpful, please like and subscribe um, and hit the bell uh, to get notifications when I release new tutorials. Make sure to, uh, to subscribe. Really getting close to our first 100 subs now. We're only like 14 away at time of recording. It'd be fantastic to be able to hit that soon. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching and until next time, 8-Bit Squid out.